Testicular cancer patients, even if they present in advanced stages, can be cured with chemotherapy. But we know that testicular cancer survivors after chemotherapy struggle with long-term side effects. One of the side effects that hasn't been described if is chemotherapy induces early aging. So in the study we are reporting this time, we found that P16, which is an aging biomarker, is elevated in those patients who have been previously exposed to chemotherapy compared to normal controls at the same age. So the implication of this is that their immune system may age earlier than healthy individuals. We know that several aggressors may induce senescence. This includes inactivation of oncogenes, radiation, and also chemotherapy. They might um, produce um, P16 expression, which inhibits cyclin-dependent kinases 4 and 6, and dephosphorylate retinoblastoma. At the same time, it may also induce P14, which promotes P53 degradation, and then retinoblastoma may be um, dephosphorylated by either the P16 pathway or the P53, P21 pathway. And we know retinoblastoma is the main activator of uh, senescence. So chemotherapy can potentially induce premature aging and um, P60 expression is only a biomarker of premature aging in these testicular cancer survivors. What we know about this study is that testicular cancer survivors after chemotherapy exhibit an increased expression of the aging biomarker P16, and they also exhibit an immunophenotype that is associated with premature senescence. This is the first time this is reported in this population, and the implication of a premature aging may include like increased risk of infection, a poor response to vaccination, and might increase the risk of cancer in the elderly. So it's something that warrants further investigation because our survivors may be at increased risk of developing these uh, complications on long-term toxicity, which is premature aging.